Good afternoon. Welcome. Bienvenue. Kawai Funi. Welcome. My name is Kelly Lam. I'm the Vice President of Marketing here at Mila. And we're really, really excited in our eighth week now of Mila Live to continue to service you, our customers, during these very unique times as many of you remain uh, safe at home, even though businesses are slowly opening. With Mila Live this week, we're very, very excited to have a very special week presented by our partners at the Concord Group who are joining us here to talk about some of their special projects in our partnership with Concord. This afternoon, from the Mealy Experience Center here in Toronto, I want to welcome Ariel from the Concord Group who is uh, joining us today. Welcome, Ariel. Thank you so much. Hi, I'm Ariel from Concord ADEX, and today we will be talking about the Miele dishwasher and the Miele laundry and dryer set. Um, uh, these, these are currently located in a lot of our projects. One is at King's Landing, located in North York, Toronto, Concord Canada House and Central Condos in downtown Toronto, the Concord, located in Calgary, the Arc and Avenue One, located in Vancouver, and Seattle House, located in Seattle, Washington. And I'm very excited to be working with um, Marilyn today. Hi, Marilyn. Hi, Ariel. And she's going to walk us through the Miele dishwasher. Okay. So, um, as you can see, Ariel, with this dishwasher, it's a fully integrated design. So, that means it does not have any controls um, that would be in sight here. And depending on the project um, and the style, the model that you've chosen for this, um, you would, the customer would select a panel that would go on here and then of their choice. And also the hardware is selected by whatever they've selected in the kitchen. So then it looks like an actual cabinetry as opposed to an actual dishwasher. I see. So as we uh, open the dishwasher, the controls, as you can see, are all on the top here. So we have a lot of uh, features uh, where you can um, select normal from sani wash, um, express wash as well. There is a delay start in this uh, unit as well. And as we open this up, you'll notice it has a stainless steel interior. And um, I notice uh, you have some yellow tabs here. Uh, what are those for exactly? Great question. Um, anything that in our dishwasher that has a yellow tab, it means it does something. So in this particular case, um, as you can see, I have a whisk that's in here. So if I were to glide this over, I now have a full tray. So I could put um, even longer utensils that were up here. I could put chopsticks up here as well if I needed to. And as I slide it down, it does a dip on here. So that means that this uh, whisk of this size or a ladle can actually sit nicely on the inside and then it closes. One other thing it does is that if you have any tall glasses, you can actually slide the tray over. And what you would do here, you would either adjust the racking system because again, as you can see, we've got two yellow tabs on the bottom. Mm -hmm. And what that does is that when you hold it up, you can either lift it up, lift it down, and with this one here, I can actually lift it this way here, and then if I, my tall glasses are here, I can actually sl slide it close, and that way um, you don't have to worry trying to adjust as to where the glasses would fit into. Very and nice. also down below, we have the tabs um, on the bottom here, and once you actually snap them down, what it does is it will collapse the actual tray, so you could put a big bowl that we're in here. Um, okay. I notice, yeah, it's very spacious here. Usually yes. I see uh, like a cutlery rack right. or um, a basket, but I noticed that you don't have one here. Right, this is our patented um, cutlery tray that we have. And what this just does is that it allows uh, more of um, putting away your dishes down below without having any obstacles in the way. So we can actually uh, load a 16 place setting in here. Wow. Um, your plates, your cups, your cutleries, um, your bowls, everything would fit nicely in here. As well as, you notice on the top here, when we um, turn down the actual arm here, it actually holds in the glasses as well. So when you're washing, they're not moving around. Okay. Um, so the, the actual design of this is that 
use as much of the dishwasher on the inside for the capacity without compromising or you know that it's too big or there's not enough room so I have put some cappuccino espresso cups here with some cappuccino cups I may have put just some glass that's over here um, so this normally would be completely full and we are good to go with our patented um, with the cutlery tray we also mm. have what's different from a lot of different models is that we have an actual arm that's in here so if you look down below here it's not a small little wash arm so what that does is that as it's washing the top of the dishwasher it's actually capturing anything that is um, dirty instead of a little spin arm that's spinning inside there so it makes sure that your cutlery is looked after and then you have an arm underneath the second tray down here oh, I that see. shoots the water up and shoots the water down as well fantastic now I usually like to run my dishwasher later on in the evening or at nighttime. Yeah. How loud is uh, this dishwasher? Oh, um, actually, if somebody has a phone with some music, then I will show you oh. how loud this is actually. So we'll put it in here. So just give me a second. Sure. We'll do a test. Do a That's test amazing. Very excited for that. Right here. All right. So as you were asking about the noise level, it's pretty loud. Completely quiet. I can't hear quiet, anything. Yeah. So wow. what that allows now is that you could have a, a conversation in the kitchen. Well, a lot of times when the customers put a dishwasher that's on, they find that the dishwasher is making a lot of noise, and so they tend to move away from the kitchen area itself. But this is still running, so let's just open it up. <laughs> Very impressive. And could you also tell me any um, energy efficient aspects of this dishwasher? Sure. Um, because of the way that Miele designs their dishwasher, we are all about how much cons water consumption comes inside of the dishwasher itself. So when we um, run this dishwasher, it's actually using the least amount of water that's in there okay. um, but to clean it more efficiently mm -hmm. so that means is that if I were to um, put one of our Miele tabs in here because of the amount of water that is actually in there it will dissolve it completely and then um, because of how quiet it is as well they've designed it so it is very energy efficient just in general as well. Okay, very and, nice. Yeah. So you mentioned the tabs here. Um, do we have to use these particular tabs for this dishwasher? No, you can use any um, you know brand that's out there. The reason why with Miele, it's you know there's certainly certain manufacturers really that um, as design tabs to go into our dishwasher, and we're one of them. And what this actually does is that when if we were to do a side by side test with another name brand um, tab and our tab in there, you, you would naturally notice that it dissolves very fast. And that's what we want in here, is that because we're using less water in the dishwasher, um, when we open up our dishwasher, you'll find that it is completely dissolved. Okay. Um, the other manufacturer, sometimes what ends up happening, because there's not enough water that's flushing through, when you open your dishwasher, mm -hmm. you'll find that there's still residue of the tabs that's in there. Okay. But we also make um, our tabs, our rinse aid, um, and depending on certain locations or where you are, you may have to uh, use the salt because it depends on the hardness of your water as well. Okay, very good to know. Yeah. Thank you. And we just basically, when you open this up, that's where the tab fits in. This one here would be for the rinse aid as well. Now, a lot of, um, one of the reasons with the rinse aid a lot of people are not aware of is that when you have a stainless steel interior, what that does, it's sanitary as well. So there's no... Um, odors that's lingering mm -hmm. on the inside here mm -hmm. so if you work because you shouldn't really you shouldn't be rinsing your dishes at all you just basically scrape up any um, food residue that's on there and then just uh, load it into the dishwasher and after that what it ends up doing does the whole cycle and when you open it up if you know anyone that may have a white uh, like a polymer finish on the dishwasher it ends up being pink mm. because they didn't rinse their dishes okay. and then it's now stained the in in uh, interior of that but with stainless steel, it actually just flushes everything away. 
Amazing. It has a filter system as well that's down below that's different from a lot of other dishwashers. Okay. So this filter system right here, you just unsnap it and you take it out. Ah, okay. And um, this is a triple filtration system basically. So the filter is from the top on the inside and then as it flushes through the unit itself. So this should actually be maintained and really a rule of thumb would be is that once a month you should just open this up, mm -hmm. rinse any residue on there, close it and then put it back again. Because um, having a filtration system like this, you want to maintain it, and that also prolongs the life of your dishwasher as well. Okay, fantastic. Okay. Looks simple enough. Yep. Just gonna put it back. Beautiful. All well, right. thank you so much for talking about the dishwasher. Yep. So again, this is available at our, our projects in Toronto, in Calgary, in Vancouver, and Seattle, uh, Washington. So just a reminder, this is a live stream, and if you have any questions at all about our, the Miele uh, products today or any questions about Concord and our projects, feel free to ask us a question in the uh, live chat. We will also be giving away a prize at the end of the session, so make sure you're registered at MieleLive.ca in order to participate. So now we're going to go into the laundry um, washer and dryer set. There we go. We're Hi, back. amazing. Okay, so I'm so excited for uh, this set. Um, I have a lot of clothes and silks and wools, so I really want to get to know how uh, this laundry set works and, and what you can tell me about it. Sure, okay. So as our dishwasher, remember you asked me about the yellow tabs as yes. well? you notice here, there's a little bit of the yellow tab and what that does is that this actually shows you this is where you would open the door um, as well for the dryer on the top here. Oh, yeah. It's the same thing, you would open it. And um, what I thought of doing on here, because a lot of people when they look at this uh, washer and dryer, they think it's, a, it's not a big unit and they think the capacity may not be um, enough for my family that's in it. So I actually, um, did a little something in here for you, oh, so if you okay. want to do this. I've placed a towel, a towels in here. Okay. And maybe if you just wanted to start by pulling Let's see how towels. much can fit in here. Yeah. Oh. It's all connected in one. And you notice that when we started this, it was completely packed in there. So what that does is that when the water actually will be coming in, it shrinks it down. It's still going. It's still going. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, this is very compact. I yes. did not think that so many towels would be able to fit into this washer here. And oh it's pretty God. impressive then when customers think about this. It's like, you know, it's small, but there is the end of that. So, wow. Um, and now that everything has been removed and you see how much is in there, you'll notice that we have the honeycomb drum. Oh, yes. Tell so me about that. So the honeycomb drum, what it does is actually it allows the clothes to glide over um, when it's washing on the inside. So the water runs through the channels and then as it's spinning around, the clothes actually glide past that. And what that does is that it's very gentle. That's a sign that it's gentle on your clothing as well. And it won't um, cause it to pull on the inside. So you know if you get that pilling effect on your tops or on a, a blouse, and then also that laddering effect. A lot of times when you take items out, it's because it's been caught on the inside. So with this on inside, if you want to feel the inside of this area, okay. how smooth that is. Very smooth. So if I were able to take this apart and you see the actual drum, you'll see that it's smooth on the other side. And that is really, once it goes through its cycle, the RPMs are very, um, depending on the function that you've selected, it can rev really high or very low, depending. And what it does is that it's kind of showing you that the clothing won't get stuck in there. So it's actually going to just um, glide by and make sure that your clothing comes out Okay. you put it in. That's fantastic. Um, yeah, could you tell me a little bit about these yeah, um, sure. different options here? So uh, what we have on here is that our normal um, cycle just for normal clothes that you're putting in, but you'll also notice that we have for sanitize. So you may have a little one that is has a cold, uh, that has a cold and sneezing all the time as well and you and especially now we're washing our hands all the time and 
you know, kids are sneezing into their sleeves. So you would want to put it into a sanitizer wash cycle on here. And then it heats up the water to a higher temperature as well as keeping it, um, you know, being delicate to the actual fabric itself. So that's one of the features we have on there. Now, there's dress shirts. A lot of people take their dress shirts to the dry cleaners because they think that um, I'm going to just have them wash it and press it. What dress shirt is gain is delicate um, cycle on there. So what it is, it'll wash it uh, if it's lightly soiled, but you have a selection of high, medium, or slow for your um, spin on there. And it'll take 44 minutes for this to be done. Once you uh, select that, you can just put it into the dryer and then you can uh, put it on wrinkle free um, or smoothing, which means that they, it eliminates a lot of that crease that goes inside on our shirt and you won't have that at all. And then we also have um, proofing and outdoors. So outdoors is a nice one. You go to, you know, a lot of people are not doing it right now, but if you go to, you know, a club and yes. um, they're around the area and it's, you can smell food that's cooking in okay. there. And before, you know, it'd be sitting on the patio, people are smoking as well. Mm -hmm. And that gets inside of the jacket. So you could actually put this as well into the washing machine. Great. And it eliminates all that for you as well. It removes that. And nice. we have our, again, our detergents that's specifically for uh, this unit. Oh, that's awesome. So there are a lot of items that I would also bring to, um, you know, have someone else clean for yeah. me, such as maybe some silk or yes. wool. Those things I'm really hesitant of cleaning right. at home. Can I clean those items in this? Absolutely. Um, especially if you, let's just say, we'll say, um, we'll put it into a wool cycle on here or silks. What ends up happening is that it will spin at a very high RPM and that's mm -hmm. what it wants to do because you don't want something that if you were washing it yourself that you uh, wash it and then it's loose because so it's hanging and soaking too long in the water. It spins it at a high cycle um, and when you take it out you can literally just hang it dry and like we've done cashmere. I've washed um, cashmere sweater in there and it's perfect. We've even done what's called the rose test. So the rose test really is that we put a rose inside, we let it go through the whole cycle, and when the rose actually comes out after 28 minutes, it's still all intact. And that's telling you how gentle that is uh, on the inside for that cycle. So even though it's revving it fast, it's not pulling at um, the petals to come off of the flower, the rose itself. That is very impressive. Yeah. Then maybe we'll, we'll discuss about um, the dryer yes. as well in there. So again, as I mentioned, this is where you can open the door on here. Um, and you'll notice the sign where it says um, energy um, star rating on here. Perfect. Both units have that. And before, sorry, before I go into the dryer, yep. I'll just say with our energy star rating on here, what it's for is that the amount of clothing that you put in, so it's not going to fill the tub up to the top. It will sensor, uh, so there's a sensor that weighs the clothes on it, and then it tells it how much water-based clay is going to be dispersed into the washing itself. Okay. So, which is great, because as opposed to a lot of um, different um, units, washers and dryers that are out there, it always seems to want to fill the tub up. That's right, the way. and so, that's a lot of water yes, wasting. Yes, that's wasted on here. So this is why this is great for that as well. For our Energy Star, um, for the dryer, is because, because of our heat pump technology, you know, um, actually designing this for um, the efficiency of the dryer itself. So never before basically have we been able to get a, a dryer that we could that could be rated as an energy star. And because we have put this into our unit, uh, we can now give it that uh, rating for a dryer. Um, also, what this does again, it will, you can select where, what you're gonna be putting in here. So I can put, um, again, wrinkle free goes, I could put a pair of pants in there or a shirt, and it's actually going to remove as much of the wrinkles as possible. So as soon as it comes out, it's best to not just throw it into a basket because that, you know, what's the reason of putting that? But you can just hang that up and you'll be fine. Um, delicate is another nice one as well because the clothing is not really heavy. So you want to make sure that um, you can put it on a cycle where there's not a lot of heat that's coming through. Okay, and again, you can still put woolens and silks in here, uh, which is great, and bed linens okay. can all go in here, and you've still got your express and denims. Amazing. So, and one thing I want to point out yeah. about the denims is that when you think about denims, why is there a cycle just for denims mm -hmm. in here? 
really is that because it's a dark clothing so you think that you would put it on to the dark cycle and then you put it in here but fabric actually weighs differently and how it's made so with denim a lot of times like if i were putting a t-shirt a dark t-shirt in with a denim the t-shirt obviously would be dried faster because it weighs lighter but the denim would still be wet and that's because of all the woven flat fibers that's in there makes sense yeah. understandable also um do you have a vent for this um dishwasher no because sorry i meant laundry and dryer laundry set <laughs> no because of the um heat pump technology um we can now what actually it does on here is that you don't have to worry about having a venting system in there so that means um you can put it into a cabinet like a cupboard um, anywhere really that you would like to place this and that is again it's that technology um, that efficiency that uh, Mila has uh, designed is that um, now we don't need to have it vented at all yeah wow that's that's very impressive and also let's see what else there is in here. oh the filter system let's go with that yeah. for a little bit so can you see yeah. right there yeah. so in here what we do is that um, when the you're putting the dryer on, I was going to say the dishwasher too, but <laughs> the dryer on, um, it catches all the fi uh, all the fil fibers in here as well. So what ends up the lint itself, uh, a lot of times it can just roll a little bit into the wall, or it'll just lay flat. So you should take this out, obviously, clean that out, just uh, wipe the inside here, and that's it. It's good to go. There's also, if you notice on the dryer here, mm -hmm. we have this bar that's on the inside in there. And that's a sensor bar. And what that does is that you may have put something in that maybe is registering at like the 57 minutes, but maybe after 30 minutes, it's dry because the different parts of the actual clothing is touching this bar. And after so many times that it touches it, it actually signals that we don't need to really continue this because the excessive amount of, um, of air that you're putting through this to dry it, it doesn't need to it's do that. It's not necessary. So it will, yeah, it'll finish it. That is a really great feature. Um, I also noticed that you have uh, certain um, types of, I want to say, um, detergent yes. on this. So yeah. how does your detergent work? Should we be using uh, your particular detergent or can we use any type of detergent for the Miele set? Well, once again, because uh, we make our own uh, care products for our uh, or uh, appliances you can use ours but you know it's nothing to say that you can't use others mm -hmm. but again the way that it's been formulated um, it knows like how when to dissolve it so that you don't want to have a lot of times you'll take clothing out and the the wash will the soap will still be on your clothing and uh, a lot of people think you know it just can't be possible on there it's because it's so um, concentrated when you're purchasing sometimes somewhere outside that it just leaves that on to your clothing itself. So you don't have to worry about that. So ours, you can use it if you want. If Great. you don't want to use that, so I'll just open this. This is where it's gonna tell you to add your bleach, the main wash, um, if it's liquid detergent, it'll tell you to remove the tray um, for the powder as well if you're using that. Um, and again, and use a high efficiency detergent. So not just your regular one, otherwise you'll have a lot of suds that's in there. So you want a low sudsing. Okay. Very versatile. Yes. You can see here. Definitely. Very nice. Thank and you I so much. And I just wanted to also, just to mention, to remind our viewers out there, is to, to register, to, actually, sorry, to register online if you haven't done so, um, because we will pick a winner um, for our prize at the end, which is a uh, fashion master. Yes, I've been looking at that and it, oh my goodness, is amazing feature with, um, maybe you can tell me a little bit more about it. Sure. Um, the actual unit itself is very compact once you close it, but when you open this up, what it does is that you have an ironing board, which has um, a steamer, obviously, okay. for your iron there, but it has different levels. So there's a memory foam pad that's on the top. Um, there's also a built-in fan so that when you are ironing, let's just say, um, let's use a silk scarf as well. So a lot of times what ends up happening, you're putting a silk scarf onto the board itself and it'll slip off, right? If, I'm not sure if you have noticed that, like you're putting it off and it slips because it's just, there's nothing to grip that. So with the fan system that we have, it pulls it down. So that means it's suctioning the fan onto the board itself 
and then you just go ahead and iron, and, um, iron it the way you normally would. Perfect. The reverse now is for sweaters or anything you're putting, um, especially like a cashmere sweater. You haven't used it all summer and now you're going to be using it. And you just want to refresh it. You don't want to put an iron that actually is sitting on top of the fibers on here. So what this does actually is that the fan, um, the venting system itself will blow the air up and then you'll use the iron, whether it's a handheld unit, because we also have that, not just the iron itself. And then you're just going to push that over the fabric itself and that will refresh it right up. Very nice. Um, the nice thing, there's so many nice features about the, this iron. It's like you can adjust the height as to how high you want it to be. Um, you can also um what we do as well is that when we are ironing like there's different aspects of it so if you're putting a jacket on the curve of that board so it just snuggles underneath there and then you're pressing it you're um when you're ironing a button you don't have to do one at a time you just turn it over and because of the memory foam you can just iron right on top of that perfect and i saw that it's very com compact so yes. you can kind of just place it anywhere you need it to so yes that's exactly. awesome i'm very excited for that yes mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, do we have some questions? Yeah, so um, I think one of the questions here is Azaid. Sorry if I pronounce this uh, incorrectly, but uh, Azaid asks, should the dishes uh, should the dishes be rinsed initially or okay with some food particles on the dishes? Okay, so question for the dishwasher. Yes, that's for the dishwasher. So we'll go back. So um, you really do not have to. Uh, rinse the dishes at all because what it is is that yes scrape off any leftover you know that might be a rice some um, um, noodles anything that might be left on there you just want to scrape that off and then you want to place it into the dishwasher the reason why you want to do that is that because with the actual detergent the tabs that we put in there um, as it's going through its cycle it wants to be able the enzymes want to be left onto the plates a bit so that the the actual tab for the soapy um, soap on there clings onto the plate to actually clean it. If you are actually just removing that every time, it just slides off and that's it. So um, yes, I would just say do not rinse your dishes and just load them up. Not necessary. Yeah, not necessary. The next one is, um, I guess is, how is the maintenance for ventless dryer since it is quite new in the market, does it take uh, a longer time to dry? Well, but that's actually a great question on here with the ventless dryers because you've, a lot of people think, well, there's that air that has to circulate inside there. So what I can tell you about um, with our heat pump technology is that a lot of dryers, like if you are, let's just say we're taking this pile of towels that we pulled out initially and then putting it in there. Yes, that's going to take a little bit longer only because it's thick, okay, and that it is filling up the cavity on the inside of the dryer itself. But, you know, if you're putting t-shirts in, it's just going to run its normal course. It's not going to take a, a very, very long time. It's just would be, if it's 38 minutes, it's going to be 38 minutes, depending on what the cycle is. So let's just choose one here. Um, if it's a normal, it's telling us it's a, a, an hour and 22 minutes, but if I'm going to the express, I'm at an, um, an hour and eight minutes on here. And what that does is that it's from the time that it actually starts till it finishes completely and cools down. So it takes all of that timing into effect okay. as well. And a lot of times, a lot of people say, oh, you know, that is a long time. But keep in mind that you, um, we could rush it through and then when you pull it out, it's going to be damp. So we might as well, you know, the timing what we've selected on here, if I go to an hand iron, um, it's going to be less because you're going to be finishing this now with your iron to actually um, press it through. So you may not want it as dry. On the other hand, if I want it extra dry because I've got these towels that are in there, it's going to be a little bit longer, so an hour and 15. Great. And you also have the technology inside to sense if uh, it is in fact dry. So yes. it, it will stop yeah. if, if um, the dryer notices that your items are actually dry and complete. So right. that's an amazing feature as well. Yeah. Uh, we have another question from Helen. What is the length of time for the shortest cycle for your Miele dishwasher? So we're going back to the dishwasher now. Um, the shortest length of time, so sorry, just give me one second. I'm gonna think uh, this through. Uh, we can get back to you on that, Helen, as well. I believe it may be, I think about 45 minutes. 
38 to 40 minutes, I think it is. But, you know, we will actually get back to you and let you know what that is, what the answer is on there. Um, one of the things as well, just for the heat pump technology, if I can mm -hmm. say, because, you know, some customers may also, viewers might be asking, what happens to that moisture that's um, it's coming out of the dryer? So we have this actual container right here. Whoa. And what this container does, it actually draws in that moisture um, from the unit itself. So again, the heat pump technology, it's pulling it through, dropping it into the, um, this condenser unit. And what this does now is that when it fills up, you empty it. Okay. But a lot of times, depending on where the dry is used, so let's just say you are uh, putting it into a room that has a sink that's in there conveniently as well that you might. There is a hose at the back that you just have to uh, loop it over the sink itself, and then it will drain directly into the sink. Okay. But this is uh, technically where that moisture will be kept. And will you be notified when it's ready to uh, yes. take this out? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Do you know a time approximately? Like mm, how many times? That's difficult only because it depends on the amount of uh, use for the dryer itself. So I can't tell you, you know, maybe after 10 or, and also, again, towels have a lot of moisture. You know, jeans right. have a lot of moisture, but t-shirts may not, or blouses may not have a lot. So um, it's hard for us to just tell you when, but it will um, let you know that the, um, the unit has to be emptied out. Amazing. Yeah. Very so, exciting. Um, also then uh, what we should say is that later on in this uh, session as well for, um, with Concord is that we will be doing the latest technology in cooking surfaces, and that will be um, happening tomorrow. So that's cooktops and hood fans. And then we're also on Friday, we're doing a Ready, Set, Cook with Leslie and Jenny from A1 Radio, St. Tao Media Group. And then on Friday, it's the Art of Preservation and Storage. So that's wine storage and refrigeration. So Perfect. That's all happening because those are all projects that um, is happening with Concord and what's yes. going into we the suites. we have a full packed week. Yes, exactly. All right. Um, are we ready to give out the prize? I'm so excited for this Miele yes. Fashion Master. Um, so to claim your prize, the winner must email marketing at miele.ca or marketing at concordadex.com before 6.30 p.m. today. Uh, so we have the winner. Uh, just to keep in mind, uh, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, okay? So just keep an eye on that timer. The winner is Joey Ma. Congratulations, Congratulations. you've won the Miele Fa Fashion Master. Yes, that's great. <laughs> Congratulations, Joey. Well, thank you so much for explaining the dishwasher and the laundry and dryer set to me and all of our viewers today. And um, we're really excited to continue with um, our partnership for this week and I'm really excited to learn more tomorrow, uh, Thursday and Friday as well. Thank you, it was a pleasure as Thank well. Thank you. All right.